question number three. Prospector Limited operates a number of shoe stores in Melbourne. The selected accounts of Prospect have been extracted and their balances are below, and these are at the 30th of June 2016. So we've got an extract of uh, accounts. We've also got some other information. Uh, profit for the year of end of 30th of June is this. Uh, this information has not been included in the above figures. Uh, so we've got 20,000 loan is uh, due to be paid on the 12th of uh, December. So that means we've got some current and non-current loan in there. The market value less cost of this inventory is 92,500. So there could be something to be trusted in there. Prospect Limited decided to transfer 35,000 from retained earnings to general reserves. And the company also declared a final dividend of 50 cents per share of 2016. <coughs> First thing I'm required to do is prepare the journal entry to record the declaration of the share dividend on the 30th of June. So that's that information there we just talked about. It's that 50 cents per share. So what I'm not aiming to do is my share capital is here. So I've had a quick scan down through my accounts. My share capital is here and there's 100,000 shares. So times 50 cents would make it a $50,000 dividend. So it says prepare the journal entry to record the declaration of the dividend. Okay, I've got my debits and my credits, and this is item number one. So dividend is a debit entry because it's a negative equity. And it doesn't tell me I've paid it, I've just declared it, so it's a dividend payable of 50000 that ticks off number one. Number two says prepare a fully classified liabilities and equity section for the balance sheet of Prospector Limited. So if I'm going to do that, I have to actually classify. So it says fully classified. So that means current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. But it only wants the liabilities and equity section. Uh, so now what we've got to do is we're going to make sure, because we're asking for all this, we've got to make sure we include this information as well. So it's not been reflected, but first I'll go about, let's see how, if we can classify into these. Now accounts payable is a current liability, accounts receivable is a current asset, accumulated depreciation on equipment is a non-current asset, it's a negative non-current asset, cash at bank is a current asset, dividend payable is a current liability. Equipment at cost is a non-current asset. General reserve falls under equity. Interim dividend uh, falls under equity. Inventory is a current asset. Long-term bank line is a non-current liability. Prepayments are a current liability. Provision for doubtful debts, they fall under current assets because they relate to my accounts receivable. Provision for long service leave, so that word long there will indicate to me it's a non-current liability. Retained earnings, well retained earnings falls under equity. Revenue received in advance is a current liability and share capital will fall under equity. Now let's look at our additional information. Profit for the year ended 30th of June 2016 amounted to 62750 Now that'll go into my retained earnings. So let's have a look. How much is my retained earnings here? Where was my retained earnings? Is 186,000. So what I want to do is I want to include this 62,750 in there. So 186 plus 62,750 equals 248,750. So I'm going to adjust that one. Okay, and I can tick that off as being done. Actually, I like ticking it off this side. 20,000 for the long-term loan is due to be paid on the 12th of December 2016. Now, we're preparing these accounts for the 30th of June 2016. So that must mean that 20,000 of this is a current liability. So my non-current is 150,000. And I've got a current liability of 20,000. So, have we got that on the right line? Yep. 
and current liability. So I've got current and non-current in there. And I can tick that off as being included. The market value less cost to sell inventory is 92,000. So my inventory comes in at 52,000. So market value, uh, well that's obviously sales, so I don't need to make any adjustments there because we record it lower of cost on net realizable value. Prospect Limited decided to transfer 35,000 from retained earnings to general reserves. Okay, so this retained earnings number here has to change again. So I've still got that in my calculator. I'm gonna take that out, minus 35,000. And what we get now is 213750. And my general reserve, which is up here, it's another equity account, is no longer that. We're gonna put another 35,000 in there. So that makes 71,000. Okay, and the company also declared a final dividend. I've taken care of that information already, or have I? Oh no, a final dividend of 50 cents per share. So that means my interim dividend is no longer 45,000. It's got to be add another 50,000 in there, so 95. And my dividend payable is no longer 50,000. It's a 100,000. All right, so now I can say I conclude that. All right.